pillowcase. It's with vinyl, it's just one layer. Snaps open. And there's, you know, needles or whatever other little stuff. I guess you could put really anything in there, even sewing feet. Snap it shut, take it on whatever retreat or trip you're going on. And it doesn't have to be just for sewing either. These would make really cool stocking stuffers, like my friend Wendy Franzak said. Okay. So I've cut out the flat portion from my piece of paper and I'm going to add it, I'm going to tape it here matching in the circles. And then I can cut out my template. this in place, align it along a straight edge so you have less to cut. Boom. It's cut out. Then I'm going to fold it at that folding line. If you'd like to insert the snaps, do so now. I think it's easier to insert them before you sew the sides together. But if you're not going to, you could just put your clips now and sew down the sides. Because some people have asked, is it easy to cut vinyl? It absolutely is. Even this 20 gauge, it's just, I just use scissors and I cut my pattern piece out. Very, very simple. These are just normal scissors. I also often use my rotary cutter for, for bigger projects. So don't have a fear. This 20 gauge is strong and durable, but pliable, easily bendable, easily cut. You'll be fine. Okay, I'm just going to attach my snap. I've marked where my snap goes and I've put the cap through because it's got that spiky thing to hold it in place. I did it for this side too and just to make sure that they're in the right spot. So for this one, this is the socket portion, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And that one's in. I have a snap press tutorial on the blog under the tutorials page if you want to see this process more in depth. So I'm taking the male piece, the protruding piece, putting it in there, making sure this is lined up correctly. The cap is in place. It sticks right through that vinyl and holds in place so I know I'm not going to mess up placement. There it is. So it's going to work. Now all I need to do is sew down the sides. I'm going to make sure this is nice and even and use my wonder clips to hold the vinyl in place while I sew. And I'll sew down each side and then we're done. I've put on my Teflon foot. It's white from my machine. And I'm just gonna sew down those sides. I'm just using Guterman thread, just a normal thread for my machine and a universal needle. If you're having trouble, you might want to try a denim needle. Trim all your threads. And there the needle case is finished.